Hello world. I hope everybody's having a great day. Eric here, back with another episode of Free Food Grocery Haul. How to eat like a king if you have low income or if you're poor. Maybe your kids were sick and you had to miss a bunch of work or you got injured. Maybe you had to take your dog to the veterinarian and now you can barely even pay your rent. Uh, don't worry because there are community resources out there to help you. So this is a very special episode. I say that about all my episodes, um, but this is a very awesome episode. I went to the church again and I got some really good stuff. I got some weird stuff. I got some of the same stuff. I got some different stuff. I was even lucky enough to get some organic stuff. So, well, I'll talk about the church and we'll see what I got coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Up? Wait, no, not up. Right here. So, anyways, I went to the church this again. So this is going to be church food bank hall number two. And it was a little bit different this time. Uh, they, they had a long line of people that were trying to get food. So I wasn't the only one who needs extra help. Um, and isn't afraid to go and try to get it. I'm lucky that I didn't have to wait too long. Uh, something that was the same was they had their hot chili dog bar set up with chili dogs and cake and some of the regular crew serving up chili dogs and dessert and people sitting around eating having a great time. So when I went and got my food, I was really happy at all the good stuff that I got and when I was leaving the guy helping me he said that he wanted to say a prayer for me so I was like okay sure why not I can use all the help that I can get and he seemed sincere about it and he said that he thought that I was a really special person and I told him that I was trying to get a new job and I applied for two new jobs so hopefully I can get an hey peace yeah peace wants to say hi uh, so we'll say hi to her later um, I said, applied for two new jobs he wanted to make sure that I was really successful and it I was really happy at all the generosity of all the people there um, it was a really huge church, a really big church. I've never been to their church service before, but I have gone to their food service, and I have also gone to their yearly job fair, which is a really huge job fair. So anyways, uh, enough about that. Let's see what I got. Okay, let's start with the the fresh stuff. Got some fancy carrots. Colored Cal Organic Carrots. USDA Organic. Um, they're already all shredded, so it'll be easy to use. All kinds of different colors of carrots. That's cool. Hey, what's this? Some um, organic stuff. Organic living butter lettuce it meets the standards for no GMOs and Wow, it's alive Why do they call it living lettuce anyways? I guess because it's got its roots still on I don't know it should be it Should be pretty good um, I think that I Think that it probably stays fresher that way uh, because it still has the roots on it So why don't they just make 
all lettuce, living lettuce, who knows. Okay, something from the ground, we got potatoes, gold potatoes. You can use them, bake them, fry them, mash them, boil them. You can French fry them. There's a, they will definitely be well used. Now, when I was looking at these apples, I thought they looked kind of brown. But they are red delicious. And I smelled them. Mm, and they smell really sweet. And they look good. So I think those will be good apples. And a red onion. Cool. I can use that to add flavor to the potatoes or a salad. Hey, what do we have here? Some potato chips, mesquite barbecue, kettle chips. All right. Those are a nice snack in a little package. So they'll stay fresh until I'm ready to eat them. And what do I have here? Some premium beef stew in a bag. Have you ever seen the beef stew in a bag before? Um, well, I haven't. Not that I can recall. It's fully cooked and ready to serve. So you just gotta heat it up and you can have a nice pot of beef stew. It has uh, about three servings. And it's got all kinds of crazy stuff in it. So, so that should be pretty good. Looks good. I really like the Campbell's Chunky Soup, so I'm sure that'll be just as good. Awesome. Um, oh, I never want to pass up on this. It is the non-fat dry milk. It's this dried milk stuff. You just add water, mix it up, and you have some fresh milk whenever you need it. That'll go really good with, oh, this next thing. What do we have here? Maple and brown sugar oatmeal. My favorite, my favorite flavor. I got, oh, several packages of it. That'll be delicious and I can add some milk to make it even better. So let's see what else I got. Cow made orange juice from California. Now the thing I noticed about this orange juice is sometimes it settles and you, you see the pulp settles to the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you shake it up. Get all that stuff mixed up before you enjoy a nice cup of Cal made 100% orange juice, unsweetened from concentrate. All right. Now, I was really happy to see this. It is jelly, strawberry fruit spread. Because I always get peanut butter, but rarely do I get the jelly to go with it to make sandwiches and stuff. So, it's strawberry, and I wonder if it's got, like, I wonder if it's made with fresh strawberries. Um, it's got, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's really delicious. It tastes just like candy. Can't go wrong with some strawberry fruit spread. It's even good on crackers. And you can even add some raisins. They're like little sugar balls. A six pack of raisins. I think they last forever because of the sugar, it preserves them. And who doesn't love a nice package of raisins? It's a good snack for any time. Now, I was lucky I got all kinds of beans here. 
and I was even able to double up on the refried beans. So, got some, oh, great value dented can, cut green beans, traditional refried beans, and the finest traditional refried beans. All right. I also got a double helping of ramen beef flavor noodle soup. All right. Who doesn't love a nice bowl of top ramen noodles? You can cook it on the stove. You can cook it on the stove. You can uh, microwave it. You can even chunk it up and eat it raw. Hey, there's probably a million ways to eat top ramen. Beef flavored. Okay, we're getting down to the end here. Don't forget the tuna. A can of chunk light tuna in water. Five ounces of tuna. And Hunt's pasta sauce. And you can use that in lots of great dishes. Or it also could be a good dip for bread and pizza and stuff like that. Or meat or vegetables. Oh, and some more of this fruit mix with extra light syrup. And you know, I think what the extra light syrup means is that it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup. So that's pretty cool. It's 3.5 servings of fruit cocktail. All right. Uh, oh, I was really surprised to see this. Cha 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 chia, cha 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 chia chia. Um, it is some organic chia powder and it's just like ground up chia seed. So it's a really trendy, popular item right now. They say that Navidas is Latin for energy. Hey, now you learn something new every day. Okay. Uh, oh, a sweet treat. It's uh, Snickers or maybe just the R from the Snickers. Either way, it'll be real good. And more of this great rice. It's the enriched long grain white rice. So the enriched means that it has added vitamins and minerals to make it extra healthy. And hopefully it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to try to make a good rice cooking video coming up soon, and I'm also going to, well, I don't know, who knows, I make lots of random videos, so my free food videos have been really popular, I'm trying to keep those ones going, and uh, the cooking videos seem to be pretty popular, so... I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to get back to doing two videos a week. I was doing them kind of regularly for a while, but it was hard because I got sick and I've been working hard doing my grocery shopping job and uh, I, I was so busy that I was having a hard time getting job applications done for new jobs, but I did get two new job applications done and it seems like those people places are always hiring so hopefully i'll have good luck and i'll have a new job soon where i'll be making lots of money so i can buy 
lots of good food and I can help out other people who are in need and I hope that my YouTube will continue to grow and become more popular. I have a feeling this is going to be my most popular episode yet. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, I love you. God bless you. Have a great day. And I hope to see you again soon in my next video. Uh, if you want more, you can check out my channel. I have playlists of all my videos. I have over a hundred videos and you can find links to contact me and you can find a link to my PayPal page. All right. So anyways, I will see everybody soon. Talk to you later and peace. Love you. God bless you. Let's take another look at what I got and I'll see you again soon.